Welcome today to this weekly devotional called Seeds of Revelation. This is Rabbi Schneider. We're going to get right into it today as we go to the Gospel of John, chapter 12, verse 25. Hear the Word of God. This is for you, beloved one. Jesus says this, He who loves his life loses it. He who hates his life in this world will keep it to life eternal. What's Jesus saying? We have to obey him. We have to deny deny ourselves, not loving ourselves and thus indulging ourselves in the lust of the flesh and the things of the world, but instead we hate our life and by hating it means we reject what we want to instead love him. And Jesus says when we do that, we're gonna actually gain life. Let's listen to it again. He who loves his life loses it and he who hates his life in this world will keep it to life eternal. I mean, I brought this up in another Seeds of Revelation not long ago, but I think it's so practical for so many of us. At the end, you know, of our day sometimes, you know, we just want to relax. We want to we wanna sometimes just, you know, sit on the couch and watch TV and, you know, kind of just give ourselves a break. And I think that, you know, it could, be a, a, it could be a blessing. But how many times on the television station, as we're looking for something to watch that would be pleasing to God, or at least not be an offense to him, something that he'd be okay with. Are we tempted to watch something that we know would not bring glory to him? You know what? Every single time, beloved, that you and I refuse to watch something on television because we know that it would dishonor God, you know what that's doing? That's losing our life for him. And you know what's going to happen? We're going to reap, Jesus said, life eternal. So I just want to encourage you today, beloved, it's hard to live for Jesus. It's easy to live for the devil because all you have to do to live for the devil is just yield to every lust of the flesh. Yield to the things, beloved, that will lead your life into destruction. But to live for Jesus is to swim upstream. I want to encourage you, beloved, without repentance, the Bible says, without holiness, no man shall see God. We must lose our lives for Jesus. We must pick up our cross and obey him, denying ourselves. Beloved, this journey on this earth is short. It's going to be over soon. And God's got something so big for you that nothing that you ever do in this life is even comparable to the reward that's coming to you. Keep up the good fight. I love you, beloved. Hang on to Jesus and keep fighting. Shalom.